Hello. I wanted to go over a new spread I'm I'm working on. And um, I just did a new spread called the Four Keys. You might see it. So I did a couple of YouTubes on it in the last two or three weeks. And um, what I like about that spread is a circle. And I'll put a, maybe I'll put a link to one of those YouTubes on the description of this YouTube. But um, what I, that the circle makes it a lot easier to see cards working together with each other. And, um, but the main part of the, of the um, spread, what really makes it unique is there's a center card in that circle. And that center card is common, used in all four aspects of what we're looking into. So we're looking into what is the question that center card is used? Why do you want this? It's used, same card. How are we gonna attain it? It's used, and when do we act? It's used. And that center card is always gonna be a major arcana. And it's the only major arcana in the spread. At least that's the way I'm doing it. And um, it really makes you focus on, on that major when you only have one major. And it keep, and the major, seeing that's a common card, it keeps the focus of the energy of that major on all aspects of your question. I don't know if this is gonna be a good thing to do if it's really gonna make a difference, but I thought I would try it for a while and see what kind of advantages we get from it. But I came up with a new one now too. I'm gonna to call it the, uh, I think I'm gonna call it the three points. And it just uses uh, six cards. And um, it would look into what the idea is, whatever the idea is you're looking into the uh, problems that you're having with this and this and the solution so it's very to, right to the point on what you're doing what's holding your back how we're going to solve it and with that one you're going to have three cards that are common in some other aspects of the uh, of the spread i've for some reason i'm thinking that maybe these common cards might be a factor in, in ways that never were really looked at before. And it might not come out to anything at all, but, it, but it's something to look into and it doesn't take any time to do. Um, I'm still really hooked on the Celtic cross is what I do if I'm doing an actual reading, but I am planning around with these two other spreads, the four keys and the three points. And I think that um, they both could be used professionally and um, you might like them. So see what you think of these. I'm going to turn the camera around here and we're going to do samples of them. And I'm going to throw, at the end, I'm going to throw a quick cross, call it a cross too, just to show you the contrast between the four keys, Celtic cross, and now this three point spread as well. That's that, we'll take it from there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use the um, Sacred Rose deck here for the, I'm gonna start with the three points um, spread that I mentioned. This is new. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my mat, let me get my mat out here. Put that down. And like I said, with this spread, I've never done this before. Uh, this is just, I'm like, I like to try to toy with ideas of uh, just something new that's never been done before. And I like the idea, I'm coming up with these ideas for common cards for different aspects of the question. So we're with a normal spread, position one is gonna be one aspect of the, of the question, position two is gonna be another and so on. Um, but if you had certain cards that were more than one aspect of the question, like a common card, that might help you in your reading staying focused in certain directions or making a clearer uh, message in some way. It might not. I'm just going to try it out and we're going to see. And we'll take it from there. Anyway, this is going to be three, there's six cards all together. And what we're really looking into with this, you could take this and say it's like a three card spread only losing six cards. 
which means you could go past, present, and future, but you could also go strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities, which is what I like to use. But on this, I'm going to be going the idea, the problem, and the solution. And we'll see where we go with that. First card, six of wands. Second card, four of cups. Six of pentacles. Four of swords. Page of pentacles. And justice. And this is how it would look. So one aspect would be this side, one aspect would be this side, and then the, th the third aspect would be left to right at the bottom here. And it really wouldn't make any difference how you wanted to do it, as far as which side is what. We'll just say that this is going to be a look at the idea of what we're talking about here, why we're doing a reading. This side here we'll look at as problems or obstacles in the way, challenges against this situation we're looking into. And the bottom, we're gonna look at the solution. How are we gonna change this or resolve it? So up here we have six of wands, justice, page of pentacles. That'll be, what is the idea that we're looking into? And down here is the solution. Well, over here is gonna be the problem or the, or the problems to this idea, the, what's blocking us. So here is one side, and here is another. This card here is going to be common to both of those. Now, here we have the idea again, this side to the solution. This card is going to be common to both of those. And here is the problem we're having against it and how are we going to resolve it. This card is going to be common to both of those. So six of wands, this is something that's been a challenge, but it's something you really feel honest about. You feel like it's really got some real tooth to it. Something that you think has a lot of potential with the justice card. Six is our overcoming obstacles. Justice is truth. And the page of pentacles, you see this new path as a very promising situation. However, there are obstacles in the way. Six of wands is the obstacles that you're seeing has to be taken care of. You really believe in this idea though. And you're determined to go on a new path with it. The obstacles, six of wands, again, like I'm saying, that's going to be a common card. Four of cups. It's hard to get things moving on this. This might be a new idea or something nobody else is really cooperating with. Things are very stable. It's not moving in any direction. Another six. Two sixes. Start of a six. Another start six down here. This is interesting because we also have two fours here. So we can look at this and say there's a lot of obstacles in the way. And there's also a lot of things that we, it's going to be hard to get the ball rolling on this. Overcoming obstacles. The obstacle, the main obstacle is you just get this moving. If you can get this moving in a direction, it'll start to take on its own energy and it'll keep on going on its own. More obstacles to come as you do move forward with this, though, because of the fact that you haven't even started with this yet. So as you proceed, there will be more that you haven't, you're not anticipating yet. Beware of that. So there'll be another repeat. Here are obstacles, stagnant, not moving. Once you do get them moving again, there's going to be more obstacles, and those are going to be stagnant as well. But I do see because of the fact that you like this new idea, with the page and you really believe in it. That's your strength right here. Persevere. Sixes are also perseverance. Don't give up so easy. Stick with it. Don't be discouraged by these obstacles that come up and the fact it's not moving anywhere. This major arcana right here, truth. Right now you might be the only one that believes in this. Stick with it. Others will follow. So that's how I'm using this six card spread. I'm calling the three points. Three common cards to an idea, 
the obstacles in the way of the idea, and a solution. The solution I'm seeing here is perseverance. Don't give up to or don't give up so easily. Have patience. Keep moving forward, and things will start to move forward with this. Also, don't be discouraged when other obstacles come in the way you haven't even decided, haven't even seen yet. Those are also going to be a snag, but you can break through that as you move forward. The three points a direct idea, obstacles, and solutions. Now we're going to be doing the four keys spread. And on that spread, I'm going to be using the right of weight deck with this. I do also want to mention something else here because um, this is something that's been, I've been getting comments on. If you're looking at my books, if you like the right, if you like to use the right of weight, if you like my keyword mapped out keyword meanings. Essential Tarot Unlocking the Mystery is the book you want to get if you like the writer weight deck. And you like my idea of keyword meanings, you can see here the, um, the mapped out keyword meanings for each, each card. Each of the 78 cards has 20 words mapping around the card. And that's the way I did that book. And people do like that. Now, if you like the Marseille deck, I have the same exact thing going on there. 20 keyword meanings around each of the 78 cards again. And um, So that's worked out the same way. These are incidentally are the same keywords for both books. I think there's over 1500 keywords there. So a, a, a sample of that would be for the Queens, I have patience and understanding. I have compassionate, tenderness, graceful energy, delicate, detailed gentleness, strong feelings, desire, true partner, unconditioned, sensitivity, Pure heart, understanding, sympathetic, emotional concerns, motherly, generosity, charitable, given freely, emotional expression, and motherly. So this is how that was done. But if you like the Marseille deck, Bare Bones, my last, re my last release here is uh, the one you want to get. This is a hardcover, but you can, it's, right now it's only available in paperback. I don't know if this will ever be out, this hardcover. But um, I did have it out for a while, but I took it off. So, <laughs> anyway, okay, we're going to do the, uh, the four keys now. And the way I do the four keys is I only use one major arcane in that. I start at 12 o'clock up here. And I go around like this. Here's the first major. I put that in the center and that's the only major we're gonna be using. Another major comes up, I'm not gonna be using it. So now that has to be, um, I, I just throw another card over it until I get a minor, okay. another ace. That's a minor, that's the one we're gonna use. These are page of, page of coins, another major. We're not using that, four of wands. Knight of Wands and another Knight, Knight of Swords. So here's how that works. We're looking at the what, why, how, and when. 
And this circle is all minor arcana. The only major that gets used is the first one that was drawn in the deck and that goes in the center. This is your common card in this spread. What is the question? Top to bottom, common card. Then you can go this way and say, well, why do you want this in your life? We'll start this way. Why do you want this? These three cards, common card in the center again. How are we going to attain this left to right? Common card. And when do we act? Down here. So the major in the center, we're, we're forced to use that with every one of our aspects here. And it's only one major. So it really makes us focus on that major as really being something uh, substantial in our reading. So what is the question? After a long time of, of, of study and understanding of things, success here, uh, a need for moving into a different direction along the same line of work or the same pursuit. King of Pentacles is going to a page of Pentacles. This is based on your inspiration and your desire for love for whatever this happens to be. You have a lot to share and you want to take it into new, new levels here. That sounds like a good thing. What you really have going for you is you really love this work, whatever that happens to be. Why do you want this in your life? Well, again, we really love what we're doing. And you've already accomplished a lot with the King of, King of uh, Pentacles here. You feel you could do more. Ways that other people haven't done it with the Seven of Swords. And you're open to new ideas. And that's what I think really makes you enthusiastic about this, is the idea that you feel you have the potential to really get creative here with the three of wands in ways that hasn't been done before. So this is, this is a drive that you really makes you really want to move forward with this. You're new territory here. You've accomplished a lot. You want to take on new paths and you think that they're there with the three of wands and the seven of swords. And you think you're the one who can break that open because of your love for whatever this happens to be. How are we going to get this done? Well, you have to look at it as a new situation. Yeah, you have a lot in the past that you've been able to use, but a lot of this is going to be new as far as a new environment. And it's going to be important that you just start taking action in new ways. If you're going to open up new directions, you have to look at it as a lot of, whole, a lot of new different situations that you have to take on. And um, not going back to what you know from the old schools, but looking at new ways of doing things, new ideas. Keep that in mind with what you love. These new ideas are what's going to be something that you really want to take, take key to taking action on. You can share your old ideas, but that's not going to be what you're really looking for. You have to keep in mind that you're looking for new breakthrough ways of doing something that have to be done or that would be beneficial substantial in some way you do feel you have the ability to do that so keeping that in mind as you move forward with this allows you to take action in very original innovative ways on this new on this idea of yours when to act the time is now with the ace of swords taking action again act now taking action knights are action aces are new situations you love what you're doing Take action with it. Another thing I like about this spread is being it's a circle, you can see patterns very easily here. I have left to right or right to left here, ace to a knight on how. I also have ace to a knight on when. Seeing this is a circle, it's easy to see these patterns like that. I'm just doing quick readings on this to show you how this works. Common card in the center as a major. And like I said, if other majors came up in the spread, you didn't use them. You just covered them with a minor.
This is how I'm doing it. Now I have some people that I've showed this to uh, in my group, or the group of people we get together on our Zoom meetings. They might be doing this a little differently. That's fine. You know, however you want to do it, do it however you think works best for you. Anyway, this is what I this is the way I'm doing it, and it seems to be working out fine. I really like the circle though, because again, like I said, you can see these patterns very easily. And it really makes you focus on the only one major you're going to be using as far as a major arcana card. Now, if I do any card readings, even right now, if I'm doing any card readings, I am um, using the Celtic cross. That's what I used for years. It's so second nature to me that I'm so I'm just so comfortable with it. These other spreads I'm talking about are really not one I would use right now because I'm not used to doing that as much as I am with the Celtic cross. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. Maybe in time, I'll become more comfortable with those other readings. And maybe I'll throw them in there in the reading. Maybe, who knows, maybe they'll be become a, a prime preference that I use. But right now, I'm still using a cross. But I wanted to do a cross to show you the contrast between what we just did and an old standard way of doing it. My cross... Again, we're just looking at the situation, whatever it happens to be. Action being taken with the four sort with action on stability, shaking things up for what it really was before, trying to shake up some stable things that are not moving quickly. Knight of Wands is something that you're going through as far as um, your knowledge of this situation is something you're trying to gather right now and looking at all the choices you're able to make with the two of cups. Major Arcana, that's interesting that we got the we got the Temperance card here as well. This is an asset. <laughs> that's the asset, so I'm going to say it's the same thing. It's something you really love doing. And here we have the uh, opportunity for the king, another king. Uh, the king will be able to express themselves very well with this new endeavor as they move forward. World card. You see very positive, you're very positive about this new situation and you feel it has a lot of promise as you move forward. Time right now is time of two of swords. It's time right now to make choices on what you're doing. Making the choices before you act, make sure that these choices are the correct ones. Careful thinking before you move forward. Two of Swords, Two of Cups. Which maybe you're aware of that too, because right now you're looking to how am I going to make these choices? What kind of how am I going to make these decisions before that I need to make? So this must be something that's difficult for you. And what choice to make here? Maybe you're on the fence with certain things. You're not too sure what to do yet. That'll come to you in time with the Two of Swords. The purpose here is to start a new situation with the Ace of Cups, very similar to the page we had in the in the other spread. I think it was the uh, three points. Knight of Pentacles. Action. You move forward with this year of opportunities to take action in ways you're not anticipating right now. You're also going to learn more, even though you think you know a lot right now, as you move forward, you're going to learn more because you're going in a different direction now with things that you haven't been before. This ace here shows all sorts of new opportunities for you. And because they are new, you will be able to break through this barrier here with this four of pentacles. Um, you will be able to change them with the five of pentacles. Four and five of pentacles, number one and two cards here. That's what you're going to be able to do is break that open because you love what you're doing. As you progress forward, though, you're going to learn more. Your attitude is wonderful on this with the world card. 
make sure the choices you make are careful ones. Look, think them out carefully before you move forward on any of this. Your purpose is a good one with the Ace of Cups, starting a whole new situation. And I see you taking action in positive ways as you move forward with this. Celtic Cross. That's that. Hope I see you Tuesday. Tuesday's our next Zoom meeting, the 22nd. 12 o'clock Chicago time. Go to tarotmaps.com and uh, just walk right in. There's no waiting room or anything in that Zoom meeting. You just come on in there and, and say hello. <laughs> Keep throwing cards. We'll talk soon. Bye.